to make this video about the sound of flute, right? This is a cylinder, a tube with one end closed. You have your blowing hole here and note holes here. So the question is, when we blow through this, why should it make any sound at all? There are multiple videos about uh, the how the frequency changes and why the frequency changes but not enough information about why the sound is produced so I went through a few documents and videos and then gained some insights into it which I wanted to share with all of you so let's let's look at this so when you actually blow into this right uh, there are two edges I would like, really like to call out these two edges one is the inner edge where your lip is resting right and the other is the outer edge which is away from your mouth now when you blow air into this what you're doing is you're not blowing into the hole you're not blowing out either but you're perfectly blowing onto this edge the outer edge that's there and the outer edge is the one that does all the magic right so what actually happens is when you blow air jet at the at the outer edge the outer edge splits that jet into two streams right so you do need an edge to do that and that is this outer edge to so it's like a blade right so it has to it it does split the air jet into two streams one stream that goes out and the other stream that goes in so if i blow the entire air outwards not good if I blow the entire air inwards all the air flowing through this tube not good no sound but when I make it perfect and blow right at the edge that's when I make the perfect sound right so why what's happening as we blow is the air is split into two streams and the stream that's going into the tube is going to face some natural resistance, right? It's, it's going through this tube and exiting from the earliest available hole. And in that process, it's going to face some natural resistance because of the resistance from one side and the pressure that you're putting from the other side, the air gets compressed, right? And at some point, the compression is significant enough that it causes back pressure. So it's causing pressure back onto this side. And as a result, the air that you're blowing into this, more of it is going to escape outwards because of the back pressure. And when more escapes, what's going to happen next is the pressure in this tube is going to drop because more is escaping outwards and less going in. So the pressure drops. And when the pressure drops, again, the conditions are ideal for the air to go into the tube. So more air now goes into the tube and it again faces the natural resistance. And so it's going to create that compression. So it's very cyclic, right? So it's a cyclical process where the compression happens as a result back pressure builds up as a result air escapes out of this thing as a result pressure drops in this tube as a result more air goes into this as a result compression builds up so it's a it's, a, it's that cyclical compression and rarefaction compression and rarefaction of the air that's happening entirely happening because of this edge has had this edge not been here it wouldn't do that right now let's compare that to this other flute. So this is the tin, tin whistle and in this tin whistle, how does this do that? It exactly does the same. So where is the edge? The edge in this tin whistle is right here, right? That is the edge. And so what's happening here is you have a hole here and you have created a channel from here to the edge uh, 
and and the air has no other path but to directly hit the edge and some of it escapes outwards and some of it goes in so this does exactly the same however it's made easier because of this contraption that you have here which is channeling your air flow the jet onto the edge right away but here in this case you have to build that skill because you could be doing it this way or this way and then then that wouldn't produce the right stuff right so it is that skill that you build to perfectly blow at that edge and when you produce that sound and if you're a learner if you're in the beginning stages then uh, when you produce that sound for the first time and then consistently subsequently it's the same feeling as as learning to bike on two wheels for the first time right that excitement no one can describe it but you get the exact same excitement when you are able to produce that sound and when you are able to consistently produce that sound it's exactly like that cycling thing so and it will become eventually it will become natural to you and you are always going to produce the same sound consistent sound um, and as more air escapes it's going to create more noise and uh, and as too much air goes into it it's going to not produce the full sound of the flute but it's the perfect place at which the the waves build properly and then the primary and then the and the overtones those waves as well build properly and then your flute is going to sound exactly like it should it's it's optimal sound is going to produce now out of this video i hope that uh, you've learned more about the instrument that you're working with and you understand more about how it works its inner workings and then thereby you're able to channel your air uh, very well onto the edge and also figure out the right pressure that you need to apply for the best tonal quality that you can produce and tonal quality is really important for flute and if you listen to all the great uh, uh, professional flutists then one thing that you note is that they produce wonderful tonal quality all times right and and we all strive to reach the same uh, goal and hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something out of this and hope you can put this to use in your flute learning endeavors thank you